Have you ever thought the world just isn't made for you and you want to live in a happy new world that you make? Well, that's what ex almost exactly happens to Coraline. But it's not as good as you think. Hello, fellow book questers! It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I have this awesome book, but a very much of a thriller. Coraline by Neil Gaiman, the number one New York Times best selling author of the graveyard book that I have reviewed over an year, a year ago. This is an awesome book, but so is Coraline, and this one is older, so. Well, let's get right on to it. Coraline is a normal girl with her mother and father, and she is living in a flat. And in an old manor house that has been converted into one. Now, Coraline finds a door, a door that leads to a brick wall. But suddenly, it leads to another world. Like, for example, the Chronicles of Narnia, perhaps. And she goes in, and she finds a new world with another father and another mother, but they have buttons for eyes, and they're not right. They are creatures of the dark, and they do love Coraline, they do. But they love Coraline as a dragon loves its gold, and how a robber will love his spoils. He loved the uh, dear, dear, another mother loves Coraline in a way that a person or some sort of creature treasures its item, perhaps a prized Mac book or an iPad, or maybe an old token from the past. Coraline is a human. She shouldn't be loved like that. By her true mother, she's loved as a mother loves her child. By this other mother, not very much. Coraline finds out that her, that her other mother has created this small world just to trick little children to think that it is better than the real world. Then they suck whatever left is inside the little child's body until all the love, the joy, the spirit is sucked away. And the what remains is not but a husk of the original child. That is what will befall Coraline if she does not break free. She must use her wits and courage to find what is happening. And she must gamble against her wits, against her senses, and she must trust her wits and senses more than anything else. She has to find three souls of the old children that had been previously tricked by the evil other mother. And her father and mother's souls are too trapped and hidden somewhere in the house. Can Coraline do all this? But will it really be over after she rescues them? You have to read the book to be sure. Well, I'll just